Hello, everybody. Here how you we doing? Are. You s that's like your entry line. Mine's the how you're doing. Yours is the here we are. <laughs> yeah, it's it's much more. You know, focus on us, right? <laughs> <laughs> all you, all the time. <laughs> um, but today, it's more about you, folks. Yes. How you all doing? Hey guys. Who we got in there? We got Lex. Hello, hello. Shadowful Matt. Hello. Siao. See you in there as well. Larsh. Hello. Oh, Nightbot's here. So far, I've killed seven rivals, but I've only gotten the pistol. That seems fair. I mean, what's that workout as a percentage drop rate? Uh, pretty high. <laughs> uh, it's not intended that they should be loot vending machines. Some people have got very lucky, admittedly. Um, but there is, it's meant to be, you know, a challenge that you go about taking and not just whack-a-mole, get goodies. Um, so they will come, I'm yes. sure. Otherwise, make some friends in the community. I've seen people uh, quite generous with handing out uh, gifts to... To lucky people. Let's see if we can get something to drop today then. Yes. So we're going in pretty uh, standard outfit at the moment. We haven't got any experimental toys. Nope. You, we have, you have got like your whole gun collection with you though, it would appear. Yeah. You, you're, you're covering all bases. Yes. Trusty Magnus. I know it's a favorite. Yeah, that's my, my, my favorite one, I guess. I like the the HP5. It's good as well. Mm -hmm. but I like I really want that copist, the experimental copist to drop. Uh, I also want to hit that sticker. The Clauk, actually. That, that's been getting some love I saw in the community today. People yeah. are starting to realize its strengths. Yeah, that EMP uh, effect to it is pretty strong. Yeah, that's neat. That's super neat. However, I want to see the 50 cal. I want to... Yes, it's I a beast. Yes. Uh, Norpal saying, hey, I played this a couple of hours with my friend to show the game to me over the free weekend. The second hunter we came across morphed into a rival mid-fight. Oh, scary. Ooh, rough. And dropped me a special SMG. Nice, the Corpist. Hit V for crazy mode. That's yeah. what you need to do with that Corpist. Um, I saw some folks have noticed that, but, you know, weapons in Generation Zero, you change the fire mode by V from burst fire to single fire. That's how you uh, get the mega mode. Yeah, and if you, if Speak you Spanish. Uh... What's no in Spanish? <laughs> 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 I know yes. <laughs> no, no, that's French. <laughs> hmm. um, I can't sit figured out. No, I never did Spanish. Sorry, we unfortunately didn't do Spanish. Only English and a little bit of Swedish here and there. In my case, butchered. But uh, yeah. Uh, this has got three experimental PVG 9s, three Granite Kafad, four AG Fira from Rivals. You've been busy. Norpal will first keep it in normal mode, saves ammo and kills runners well enough. That it does. But we're talking about fun here. I mean, <laughs> I just love the noise. I could sit there spraying trees with it. You're just picking on Seekers today. I bet they're everywhere. I they're everywhere. I don't want them to call the friends. The hills have eyes. Seeker eyes. Yeah, so coming back to what you said about hitting V, if you look at my, my bottom left, you will see. Bottom right? Bottom right, yeah. Not I that left, other left. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, you will see how it flip between semi and, and full automatic. Oh. Uh, what time is it where you are? It's four o'clock in the afternoon, so about night time. Yeah, it's almost Sweden. night time. <laughs> Sweet, Sweden, uh, they like to start their winters early, or the nights early in the winter. The Seekers have eyes. Well, you know, I was using artistic interpretation there. They have, like, sensors. I guess that's their eye equivalent. Will be other weapons as experimental? Of course, it's a brand new feature. Um, people have reacted well to it, um, except for initial concerns. But once people got to grips with it, they seem to be very, very positive. Um, so I think it's something we would probably like to expand on in the future. Just to sort of take the game sound a bit there. We were a little bit bit loud. How's the volume on your side for the game How versus my, my beautiful voice? Doing work, Pontus. I'm trying. They're, yeah. they're really coming at me today, though. Oh. As you can see. Luckily Got for the me, survivor spec provided some really nice shots. Mm. Oh, I'm getting this ping on work thing. Okay. Sam is good. Why, thank you. Can Seekers only fly or can land? They just fly. That's their thing. Are you going to talk anything about upcoming features? Not just yet, Statistic Bear. We've only just released this. So we're still very much about getting your feedback on 
rivals yeah, for this cold. stream. You know how it works around here. We will absolutely be talking about new stuff soon. Pontus. Yeah, I know. What's happened? Man? I know. <laughs> Don't be like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, you know, you know how it is around here now. We're always picking up something. And welcome. Uh, this game is a gem. Awesome. I hope it starts getting more attention to play from players. I talk about it to friends, but no one knows about it. Well, you're doing right so far, Devious, by telling your friends. It's much appreciated. I'm very much, uh, well, so the whole team is glad that you're enjoying it. What is a beast? Um, let me Google the definition. <laughs> no, I don't know. That's a strange question. Kind of angry today for yeah, some reason. Yeah, they were, they were feisty. Someone's a uh, bit, bit naughty, perhaps. Got no weapons from destroying a lot of rivals. Peter, that is a possibility. It is, of course, um, random random luck. Some people might get very lucky. Others could get slightly less lucky, but you should get them eventually. Uh, regarding uh, crashes, that's something that we are, of course, looking into. And we're trying to prove every update. Every update. Um, Statistic Bear says they posted a review two days ago. For this game has so much potential, but there are things that we gamers miss. Absolutely. And we recognize that, which is why we are updating as we have been. And... There is more to come. Um, you know, the first months were all about homing on those bug fixes. Now, starting to get some more features into the game, and it's going to go onwards and upwards from here. New attachments would be awesome. I know we have people asking for um, drum magazines, for example. They would be pretty neat additions, um, oh, particularly for this AI76 Pontus has right now. Um, any experimental side arms? Yes, the Clout is the one you're looking for there. Oh, no, not again. Disembodied machine sounds, that's something that we are aware of. Thank you, Jessier. Again, as you mentioned in the forum, someone already has a great bug report for that. Thank you very much. What updates are you planning to add? Uh, we like to keep our cards close to our chest until it's time to tell you what they are, in a lot of cases. Um, if you're new around here, you probably haven't heard the speech before, but I'll do it again if folks are new. It's more about the case of we don't like to disappoint folks. We'd rather have you pleasantly surprised when we bring out a feature than say, hey, this thing's coming, and then you're saying, is it here yet for you know, a month or two months? So we'd rather you know, feed it out in good time when we feel a feature is baked and kind of ready to show you. Uh, yeah. Does leveling up rivals increase the chance of dropping experiment weapons? It does indeed, yes. So you're getting camped out by that hunter now. Yeah, well, I took him out. Now it's just... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> this is a thing I can't understand, though. What? Scope on a handgun. Like that, that is a thing. Why would you do that? Because you can. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, true. But just because you can do it doesn't mean you have to. You don't have to. You can take it off. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> what I did. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about choice, this game. Yeah, if you want to put up... Put a scope on your Magnus. Don't do that. Any news about increase in level cap, like removing level cap? Um, nothing to comment about right now. Although, of course, we've had feedback and continue to get feedback that you'd like to see, you know, more more levels or maybe more skills or adjusting the existing one. So it's definitely something we're we'll probably going to take a look at at some point. <coughs> oh, I'm just not having any luck today. I, I say cheese it. Cheese it? Yeah, it's what Bender says. What's that cheese it? Well, as run. in running. That's not run. cheesing it. That's a valid tactic, Pontus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the in fact, an encouraged tactic is yeah, to I realize know, that you will not beat everything all of the time. And uh, But I'm going after rivals. Re-engaging so. is a good idea. Um, but, you know, we can go out, heal up, come back in, yeah. do some damage. It would be nice with a scope on the Magnus now. Oh, it would be really handy <laughs> with a <that> scope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your stream is freezing time to dime. Is anyone else getting that, or is that just a, uh, a justice issue? Um, it may be on your end, I'm sorry to say. Mm -mm -mm. God, finally a game developer that's not bad, uh, says Alizren on uh, YouTube. I think that's a compliment, Pontus. I guess it is. But you'll you'll find though often that game developers we spend so much time playing a piece of a game, or little bits of a game that we don't have the time that you folks have just to play hours and hours of video games <laughs> in a lot of time. So yeah. Yeah, I just uh, told Graham well, today I wished more hours of the day so I could actually get to play something. Mm. 
We've had it buffering. Everything looks hunky dory here. You restarted Chrome and it fixed it. Okay, so it suggests that maybe it is a uh, not us, because everything looks sweet in terms of our upload and uh, drop frames and stuff. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. Alright. Will there be experimental attachments? Who knows? Um, not something that we can say about now, but it would be a great idea. It'd be fun. Oh, I scooted it away. I have to... Hmm. He heard you coming. He yeah, was like, I've heard about this Pontus guy. The man is of boo. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's Stream is fine for you. No freezing on your side. Good stuff. Eki, to answer your question, will there be a rival tank with a railgun since there's only one tank? We'll see. We'll see. I mean, again, it's a brand new feature. So asking, will this happen? Can we have this? We'll see. It's going to probably be the answer to that. And thank you, of course, for the feedback. Um, we'll see where the feature goes in the future. Um, we're just eager to hear yeah, things like that about what you would like to see. And that's great that you tell us. Thank you. Real official turf, I'm glad you got that sorted so you could complete the game. And apologies that you had that problem to begin with. Ever think about having raid events? That would be pretty neat. Ooh, um, that would be, be fun. super awesome. Just get together with your friends. Pontus, you leveled up. Assign them points, says Emil Craftling. These backseat gamers in our Facebook... Uh, who might happen to be the game director at a time. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> yes, you have a new perk point, so yeah, next I'm time when you're not in a fight, we'll... Uh, mm. Maybe you guys can help me out to show the perk then. Yeah, because uh, you have a very uh, particular style of, of assigning perks, don't you? Which is like the shotgun approach. Well, a bit yeah. of everything. Yeah. <laughs> the smorgasbord. <laughs> <laughs> My aid, though. That's right. Trusty Magnus is pulling you through. There we go. Luckily it's got six rounds, so you can yeah. always get that last one to kill it. <laughs> <laughs> it should be pretty calm now, I guess. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see. Could I... Um John Harry says, awesome job on the Halloween cosmetics. Just want to say the bug is back when the game crashed when you fast travel and notice many runners that disappear you have to kill them. Can you please post a little experimental cosmetics? That's a lot of requests in one question, John Henry. I'll probably take that one offline um, just so I can answer you properly. It's, called, it's on Facebook, so I can just do a direct reply yeah, to that later. Put this on health, I think. Since I haven't been doing really good. To well. get a little bit more tanky. That's good. That's a good choice if you're going against rivals. Well, you've seen I used maybe, what, five, six shots already. Mm -hmm. It's just one of those days, I guess. You need to more about float like a butterfly, sting like a bee, you know? Go well in, go out. I need do the to work on my strafe game, I think. Maybe take the more tactical but approach. What about your equipment? Got some flares, got some explosives? Yeah, maybe? I know, I know. We'll get there. Mm -hmm. Just watch me. Saving them up for the main event with the yeah, rival. Yeah, yeah. Well just watch me put sticky flares on. on. What can rival is it anyway? Let's see. Oh, Ooh, it's a harvester. The harvester, mm. yeah. So, Ooh. as we know, harvesters. The, the the scary bit about harvesters is normally their escorts. They're, they they tend to roll deep with friends. Yeah, big parties. Um, and of course they're they're quite tanky, so it might take a little bit of ammo. Uh, drum mags for my AG Fira. I I covered that at the start of the stream. I said I've seen a bunch of folks request of that. It could be pretty pretty neat feature. Um, there's a good one from Burger Player on YouTube. When making a new update or adding a new thing, where do you get the ideas from? Uh, we of course have game designers in house. Um, so obviously. They're experts at what they do. They're trained in all the sort of game design theory and craft, as it were. But then, of course, I mean, the original idea for the game, pop culture, lived experiences, what we like. And then one of the very most important things, what you folks want to see. Um, of course, we, we'll tend to look at your base idea. I want X thing. And then we try and expand that, you know, nugget of an idea into something fleshed out and uh, something that we think would be a good addition to the game. One second. There we go. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's see where this guy's hiding. <laughs> Avalanche Studios 2019 creates a survival game of killer robots. Avalanche Studios 301 becomes Sweden's top arms developer. <laughs> <laughs> Development goals. Well, uh, uh, there's no business like war business. There's, there's, so it's good money, yeah. Um, mm, mm, mm. Got an idea for you guys? Please bring to life the Gatling gun tank from the concept art. Yeah, I see the concept art does do rounds now and then. Uh, Ville, our concept artist, has um, done some awesome stuff. 
Um, yeah, as you know, we have ideas. Sometimes you have to prune things as a dev and sort of choose which you want. Kill your darlings, I believe is the phrase. But um, yeah, there will be plenty of cool stuff. You still like an answer from the devs? Um, unfortunately, please always bear this in mind that we're doing a live stream. I cannot guarantee to answer every question all the time. The way that time space works, me answering every question would be longer than the length of the total stream, etc., etc. So I do try and generally just pick out a question that might help the most people at any one time. Uh, that being said, let's see what you asked. Um, will you fix the experimental shotgun range issue so shots don't explode in mid-air? Right now it's not reasonable. That's how it's intended to work, actually. It's not an issue or a bug. Of course we can take feedback from you in the terms of maybe you think it should work differently. But the concept with how it works is basically each pellet in your ammunition will explode after a set distance. So the slug only has one pellet, which is why it's a short range. Buck goes a bit longer. Birdshot gives you a longest range. Um, no, the experimental weapons, a lot of the sort of inspiration in them is they would change the way you play. So you can think almost of the experimental shotgun as some kind of melee-esque attack, almost. Um, kind of like your uh, corpist is really great for doing, you know, duck in, duck out, attack maneuvers, because you can just unload loads of damage, move out, come back in, etc. Going for the sticky flares, using yeah. those... Uh, like, I really love them. They're so smart. Using the escort against the rival. Yeah, That's a cunning so plan. Hopefully they won't see me now. I would like to have one that burns a bit longer though. Mm. Sticky flare plus one. Flare of sticking. Nice. Now the tactics are coming out. Oh! He did see me though. We should stream nice. this on uh, yesterday for November the 5th. Our British people would have appreciated the fireworks. When we see Daleks added to the game, um, I think there might be some licensing issues there. <laughs> but maybe we can make some really angry waste bins that run around, uh, float around rather. I'm intrigued as to what Daniel Radcliffe was saying about a massively simple improvement to implement, because generally they never are. But I will see what it is you're requ requesting. I missed your first comment. Uh, what is the massively simple thing? Uh, I cannot see your first your first response there, Daniel. I'm sorry to say, but I'll grab it on Facebook later. But yeah, just bear in mind that sometimes what you think is simple in terms of how we actually how that translates to being in a game can be a very big project in a lot of cases. Um, which is always something for us to consider in terms of when and how we add things to a game, you know. Is it is it important that we feel we want to get you something to enjoy in the next month? Maybe we go one feature. Is Do we think that you you can kind of wait a few months? Maybe we go with a bigger one. So these are always considerations that we have. Immersive hub. Uh, what do you mean by that, Daniel? <laughs> Sorry, you need to elaborate on that, I'm afraid. Um, rival ticks. Yes. But maybe they could expand them. I think we joked about that before, is having what you rather fight, uh, 10 tank-sized ticks or one tick-sized tank. No, the other way around. Yep. Did you ever give an answer to that? Like, what would you rather fight? I think we, we asked the community, and generally the response was they'd rather fight a tank-sized tick than... Ten tick size tanks. No, vice versa, I think. Oh, immersive heads up display. Um, I'd probably want to ask you more about what your interpretation of that would be. Um, but yeah, always happy to hear about your ideas and what you think we should be in the game. Just do bear in mind that what you might appear to think is simple is not always necessarily, depending on what it might be. Yeah, getting good tips from chat. Shoot off those rocket pods. But then again, you're doing pretty good at dodging them so far, so... Hmm. The rocket pods... Do you have any explosive tanks? No. No. I had some landmines that I... I put way too far back. I see, Daniel. So basically you want a kind of... Um, What's the word I'm looking at? Minimalist HUD. So, no crosshairs, 
Um, and then no HUD elements. Okay, Ooh. feedback taken. Thank you. That I would really like, actually. Mm. That would give make this game so much sneakier. You have to be so much more careful. Mm. I personally like to play with the stealth uh, marker turned off. I know some people like it, some people don't, which is nice. Which is why we have that option there, so you can choose for yourself. I really like you guys added the news link directly to the main menu, but it's not pretty. Do you have any ideas about integrating in a better way so it's prettier? Yes, we do, Galaxy State. Of course, it's a feature that's only been in a few days of, as of now, so it's definitely something we'll uh, continue to iterate on. Right now, we just saw the need of getting it in there so we can get the information in a, in a good way for folks that don't perhaps follow our social media. Um, if not, why not, by the way? But, uh, no. um, yeah, it's probably something we'll elaborate on. Any ideas on working a bit longer on updates? You can really work the update and spend time with it. Um, Burger Player, that's probably something we can consider, for sure. Um, again, it takes me back to that little little uh, mini speech a minute ago about how we decide what to release and when. If we feel that the game is in a good place where people can wait a few months or whether they need something now, now, now. Particularly when we were dealing with the bug fixing, of course it was really important that we got things out there quickly. and. Yes, there's still bug fixing to come, but that really rapid release pace um, was really good to address those things as fast as possible. Maybe as we work towards bigger and bigger functions, it might be that we uh, you know, slow down development in terms of the bigger releases. We'll see. Do you hire any personnel? Yes, we do. If you're interested in joining the team, avalanchestudios.se, I think, or .com. I think they both go to the same place. Um, you can find any open roles there. Ticks with chainsaws attached as rivals could be yeah, terrifying. Be yes, they would. <laughs> <laughs> then you will see me scream each week on stream. Yeah. Imagine going down one of the bunkers, all black, dark. And he's <laughs> and <you're> just <laughs> <laughs> they jumping at you like a, a big face hugger. They of course have to be like the Husqvarna chainsaws, though. Yeah, We'd have yeah, to get yeah. a partnership going there. <laughs> I bought the game release and I've held off playing 100% of the options available. I suffer from epilepsy. This is, uh, the game HUDs is a trigger for your epilepsy. That's um, okay. Well, definitely uh, feedback taken on board. The game seems to be getting more positive reviews now than when it launched. Just shows that you guys are doing a great job updating the game. Also reached 100 hours in the game now. Zumza, I know you've been here for a while, so it's great to see that you can see the progress there. And yeah, I mean, our reviews are now um, up in the very positive category in Steam. So it's really nice to see that the, communi the community is recognizing the improvements in the work that the team have been doing. And thanks for being here the whole time for the journey. Yeah. Really? Replace ticks with Roomba vacuum cleaners for April Fools. That'd be hilarious. It's pretty tough going after a harvest of your first one, though, just due to the fact that they're, you know, obviously tanky beasts. They're, they're more of a, um, you know, a war of attrition. Like, they can handle so much damage. I must have put. You got some good hits there, though. You're getting some blue sparks, which is good. It's starting to look a bit. Hi guys, what nerfing the 50 cal? I'm sorry, Dantec, I don't know what you mean by that. You would like us to, or you feel it is? Um, let us know. Will we be getting drive or motorbikes? Maybe one day, who knows? Again, we're not really ones who tend to drop out uh, early news unless we have time to communicate stuff, but it would be fun, that's for sure. Any chance we get health bars for our enemies, especially big ones, it's hard to strategize, we don't have a lot of visual info. Good feedback, Warrior Dan, definitely good feedback. Uh, really good to know if it's, you know, a couple more hits or... Uh, there we go. So satisfying watching those big things yeah, drop. Yeah, just fall together like that. But yeah, more feedback. And some. I mean, of course, it, you kind of look at how the machines react in terms of 
sparks. Oh, you've got some experimental gear there. Nice. Experimental jacket. Ooh. Wood link cover. Looks awesome. Quit that. Yes. Um, of course, we do give you some feedback in the terms of how machines react when you shoot them. The sparks, the explosions, that kind of thing. They all mean something. But yeah, a health bar or a less uh, in-world way of viewing it could be an idea. Yeah, this looks awesome. Look at that. I'm the coolest guy around. Uh, Shaokiem having an issue with chun the Tunnel Rat Trophy. That is something we're looking into. Uh, I've seen a few comments about it recently, and I've sent it up to the devs to investigate. So, polish the trouble. Uh, we will absolutely get that looked at if there's a problem. Uh, playing with friends last weekend, it's suddenly got many game crashes. Uh, what's up with that? Um, it's something we've noticed, definitely, and again, it's something we'll investigate for fixing. Apologies for the trouble. It's a shame that you can enjoy up your friends during the free weekend, as intended. Um, but yeah, particularly with multiplayer, we noticed there was something up there. So we're, we're definitely investigating on our end, because of course, it is so much fun in multiplayer. We yeah. want you to go and enjoy it smoothly. Just running around there with your friends, doing some real nice tactics, good team play. It's so much fun. Can you nerf Fletch guns? So you mean the, the flechette guns that the hunters, etc. have? Um, we did actually do, do a nerf to them uh, last week, effectively. There was an issue where their pallet spread was very condensed. So instead of, you know, you potentially be able to dodge some of the pallets, they were all hitting you at the same time. So sit with it a while, see how you feel if the, the changes are based off last week's. And um, then absolutely we're keen to see how you think things feel now. Greets from Germany, says Norchili. Hello to you. Thank you for joining. Looking snazzy in that new coat. Yeah, it's nice, right? Mm. Uh, actually, on the subject of coats, I will raise this just in case there's anyone out there who's noticed this issue. We did find that with one of our Halloween jackets, the uh, Antarctica jacket, I believe, the grey one specifically, I think it was, is causing some people some issues where their characters might disappear or appear where their arms don't show up. Or in some cases, they get a black screen. If you do happen to have that problem, please just join a multiplayer game, remove the jacket temporarily until we fix it. And that's a way to get around that. Um, but again, sorry for it happening to begin with. <laughs> All right, let's see. The other one was a uh, tank, I think, that I'm uh, I'm going for now. Justice says, harvesters are weird. They mostly do nothing. It's very easy to run around them and destroy them from the back. Exactly. I mean, harvesters in world are not really intended to be combat machines. They're more of a support machine to the others. So their goal is to go out there, harvest resources, which is why you sometimes see them on top of cars and stuff. Uh, gathering things. The the real threat in Harvesters, although of course they do have weaponry, um, is going to be a l their, their escort to a lot of extent. Would You're you going for the big, uh, the big ones now, Pontus. Oh yeah, and he shot me really hard. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't wanna, Get I want behind a tree. I want to live. Get behind a tree. <laughs> Bullets will run faster than you will. <laughs> but they're so tiny. <laughs> but you're tiny. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. I think uh, Restream chat is misbehaving. Let's fire this up. Sorry if you posted a question in the last uh, 30 seconds or so. We need to refresh our chat here. It's uh, being naughty. So what's the the tank sweet spot then? Is it that big barrel? I think it's it got is, it's right? got several. Um, oh no, he brought a friend as well. Ay ay ay. Oh, a friend tank. Yeah, maybe oh. do I, I don't have any sticky flares. Left. Double trouble, no sticky flares. Actually, I remember you trying to take two tanks last week yeah. as well. And the problem is sticky flares do have a certain radius of attraction, so you need to get them up close. Maybe I can Here's a suggestion, give tanks a flamethrower to make them even more terrifying, Ooh. or even better, give it to us. That would that be, would so be a lot of fun. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> Where are we? Um. Bam, bam, bam. Let's get Pontus to fix that. You playing on the Death Branch? No. Mm, okay, we'll get that looked at. It's great when we can see that live because we can actually uh, just go send it straight to the Dev team. Fix this, please. Um. <coughs> Didn't like me throwing flares like that. <laughs> How long does it take to create a mech? Um, it's a big process. There is a lot of work involved in um, making machines. Um, it's all the animation, the AI that comes into it, the artwork, the coding behind the scenes. It's it's a big endeavor actually to add new machines to the game. 
I've got one idea. There are cars, lorries, and bus stops that wear the buses. Please be sure to add some old classic Scalia Vibis buses. Good feedback, Shanee Blair. Yeah, some more variety in the kind of uh, vehicles you see, etc. Although, of course, in Sweden, the, the cars are probably accurate because that's all they drove. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just look at this. What, what kind of car could this be? When are the beards coming? I'm trying my best. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, facial hair choices would be pretty neat, for sure. Hey, Tenebrae, what's up? Yo, Tenebrae. I don't have Generation Zero, but I might get on Steam during Christmas vacation. Nice, Frederick. That's a Christmas vacation well spent. Any plans on adding vehicles, weapons, and different enemy types? Um, weapons, enemy types? Absolutely would make sense that they would come to this game in some form or another at some time. On a long enough timeline, we'll do all of that. <laughs> it's more a ca case of the whens, really. When when this type of thing will happen, I would think. Um, again, as I said earlier, we generally tend to keep our cards closer to our chest until we have something to show you. That way, we don't risk disappointing you because things might take longer than you think they should take. Um, but we'll absolutely let you know what's coming next soon. Oh no, they're everywhere. Anna Martel says, very good game. It's in Swedish, but I uh, hope that you soon open up other regions to play in. Thanks for feedback, Anna. Um, of course, we have a very big world, but we also have some other islands as well, perhaps we could explore one day. So let's uh, see what the future brings. What's your favorite part of the map? Uh, whichever safe house I happen to be hiding in at the time. Yeah, <laughs> where I don't get killed. So did I manage to... S no, I didn't. Exactly, Duncan. That's personally how I would fight a harvester as well. Go behind it, shoot them tanks, remove the rocket pods, and then it's a much easier, much easier fight. More light machine guns to the people. Yeah, light machine guns. I mean, there's obviously something you don't have. We don't have in the game yet. It'd be pretty cool to add them at some stage. I'd love that. Sure. Just fill them full of lead. Bigger guns is better guns. Hey, what's this? Oh, you got a. Um, Stone Circle, what's it Rauk? Not Rauk, um, that's, that's the natural ones. Uh, what are they called? I went to one in some place in Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a longboat type thing with rocks, it was pretty cool. Oh man, there's so many of them here. Is that mine? No. Was the island intended to be a part of the game first? Um, no. Uh, what, what was given was intended. Um, of course, we want to live a self room to expand potential. Need to go have a nice bed. Cheerio, Ice Bear. Thanks for dropping in. Bye bye. What's your favorite robot? Easy. My favorite machine to fight is the Hunters, just because they're spoopy, they're clever, right. they, they got all the tactics down. So, this is going to be the fight of a lifetime. I this think. is going to be a big one. This is when you really wish you had some like, gas cans to hand. You're very confident just stood there playing <laughs> your infantry with a horde of ru hunters running at you. Can you give us a cosmetic gas mask without dirt, please? That'd be pretty neat, like a broken gas mask or something. Oh, wow, there's loads of them. Yeah, there's so many. Could you give some small backstory? Um, well, it introduces you at the start of the game when you first play. Uh, you are a teenager that's basically been out for a trip to the Swedish archipelago, out to the islands, and you come back and you're attacked from the shore by these mysterious machines. They shoot your boat, it sinks, you make your way to shore, and then the story kind of picks up from there. Um, I won't go too much more into it because spoilers and stuff. Uh, but yeah, you're basically a teenager who's appeared here and wondering what the heck's going on and uh, trying to work it out from there. Elk costume. <laughs> <laughs> that would be interesting. <laughs> I think we need some Yule Tomter costumes though for Christmas though, don't we? Oh, I love that. I'm trying <laughs> to grow my beard a bit. Maybe we could call it white Next or Christmas. something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Damn. They're really nifty, these guys. Ola Anderson would like to see the option to start a fresh character without deleting your main save. Yes, Ola, that would be um, a really good addition to the game for sure. 
It's not futuristic or anything, just happened to be attacked randomly by robots. Not randomly. Uh, the story will explain why and what's going on. It's intended, I mean, this is why we call them machines and not robots, is it's 1980s. These aren't super advanced cyborg type things. Um, but yeah, if you play the story, it will explain to you where they've come from, what they're doing, and uh, yeah, how they got here. Really. Doing good there, Pontus, actually. Getting some good hits. They're trying to flank you. There's so many. Yeah. I'll say that they asked what my favorite machine was, and definitely the hunters used that flanking behavior. Wow, they just keep coming. Yeah. You want to take out these seekers, yeah. that's what you need to do. Yeah, calling all his mean bodies. <laughs> Jerem Miller, uh, don't take silence as a no to answer your question. Take the silence as the fact that we're reading four different chats here. I said at the start, we cannot unfortunately guarantee to answer every single question that comes in because A, it's impossible to keep up and uh, B, we need to be sort of kind of efficient with time. Sorry I missed your first question. It's not personal. We don't deliberately avoid stuff. It's more of the case of we're talking to four chats at one time and we physically cannot compress all these questions into the... They'll always come in faster than we can answer them, put it that way. We do do our very best to answer as many as we can. Rivals update is awesome work, Scoot. Thank you. I'll uh, throw you on the last level. Yes, it is Commander Blue for now. We'll see if that should change in the future. Did you already talk about the resource spawn, how it behaves when you kill rivals? We did not. Um, nope. Yes. Sorry, I have to get distracted by Pontus going nuts on these hunters here. <sighs> Any word on LMG? People have asked it a couple of times now on the stream, Zogorov. We said it would be cool. Again, we'll tell you first before you need to ask us if such a thing was going to be appearing soon. Don't worry about that. When we get the chance to play with you guys, maybe we should do a multiplayer stream again sometime soon. Yeah, did I you run out of that. shots? No, I run. Yeah, I did. Oh no! Oh, you evolved it. So. No. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hopefully, I get some something good in my plundra here. Uh, anyway, sorry, back to the regional spawn and how it behaves when you kill rivals. Yeah, so you'll notice that your actions will change the regional level, which will sort of dictate to some extent what level rivals are going to appear. We don't want to dig too much into it because we'd like you to kind of experiment and, you know, it's fun to find this gameplay out for yourself rather than us lay it all out on a carbon sheet for you. But if you did want that information, then I'm sure folks in the community would be uh, happy to talk to you about it and discuss it. Can you increase the drop rate of adrenaline shots? Um, that's always been a difficult one for us because adrenaline shots are an extremely powerful item. It can make death almost irrelevant in some cases. Um, so it's a really difficult one to balance, but of course we always like to hear feedback about where you feel, uh, whether too high, too low, etc. Alright, they got the best of me this time, but... Uh Mm. Well, sure. they're not meant to be easy, so you're doing good, though, to take out that many hunters. That was a uh, pretty, pretty good gun. Hmm. All right, there it is. Now, oh, this is another one. He stole my nickname as well. Sorry, just going through the chat. Uh, where are we? Oh, yeah, I have some more. <laughs> da, 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 bear with me. See if I can do a little sneaky thing here. Did I have any? Yes, I did. What are our favorite video games not made by Avalanche? Well, you're, you're got the Stardew Valley, Stardew Valley bug recently, haven't you, Pontus? Yeah, uh, it's, it's yeah. just a wholesome, amazing game. It's, it's really so, good. It's so simple, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, I play that a lot. Yeah. 
Of course, we got uh, another first-person shooter out now, which is kind of fun. Mm -hmm. um, the more modern type of warfare? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I've been playing a bunch of that myself. I mean, I tend to flip between games, really. Yeah, um, me too. I, my New Year's resolution was to play more and play wider. So mm. I'm trying to really play as many games as I can out there. Um, yep. All different genres. Not I mean, that I many sports games, though. No. I've never been a big sports game fan. Ditto. I tend to play, like like you, like whatever the new thing is that's cool to try out, but games that I t always tend to go back to are things like RimWorld or Binding of Isaac. I really like roguelikes and games that have hard fail conditions and really sort of tough difficulties. That's what I like. Uh, 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 uh. Puchinaki saying, I'm experiencing the problem where I can't switch weapons when pressing the button from time to time. Also experience a reload glitch. We are aware of both of those. Thank you. And they are being investigated. Uh, apologies for the trouble. It's absolutely something we're looking at. Come Does Rival have a higher chance of dropping if it's a high level? Yes. It's going to give you better loot. So you want to scooch around the back of it if you can, Pontus, and take out those gas tanks. Yes. If it can kindly stop firing rockets in your base. But that will help you stop it. Hmm, now I, I used all my smokes, I think. Darts! And the rocket pods are up on the back there, you can see. You oh, can take all them right. out. There, yeah. there we go. Of course, it does have a stomp attack if you get too close. Yeah, which is worse than it looks like. The rockets, though, are super, super annoying. And it can take a lot of damage. DLC pack with the Halloween items of purchase people missed out would be great. Sijal, we'll see what happens. Um, obviously, it was a lot of stuff you to collect, which is a good thing and a bad thing. Um, it's good because lots of folks can get stuff. It's bad because the completionists who want everything maybe had it a bit tough. So we'll see if there's another way we can get those out to at some point. I think we've broken them now. Should be good. I want to suggest the regional score should increase when you kill rivals instead of decrease, but drop slowly over time if you kill your enemies in a region. Good feedback, Dantec. Um, do I have? Yes. Uh, Corpist overdrive stops working at some times. Switching back to normal mode or on overdrive mode. Have to toggle it to get it working again. Seems to happen when I get hit while running or reloading, I think, on lockdown. Okay, Rudy. That, you know, it's an experimental weapon, so maybe not. In seriousness, that's that's good, great feedback and very thorough in what we can do to try and replicate it, so thank you. Nice. There you go. It's much better when you go for precision targets. Yeah. Hmm. Come on. Friends. Blink, blink, blink. Oh, this <laughs> is so nice. Yeah, run away. <laughs> you can use it as cover whilst you loot it. Nice. Surgical. Will you guys cover the entire island in snow for Christmas time? Well, that would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? I don't like snow. I like snow. I like winter. I don't like the darkness, but I like the the whole snowy stuff. <laughs> 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 Worst experimental <laughs> weapon ever. Yeah, how generous. Better luck next time, Pontus. Yeah, well, I'm gonna go back. Hopefully, I don't know. I don't have that much. No, I can stack those. Should I? I need to get some more ammunition, though. I want to go back and, ta and get revenge on the other one. Mm. Is there some place around here that I can... Yeah, we can go down there, see... Played a couple of hours of PS4, is any plans to do equipping items, weapons faster than what it is now? Uh, we've been looking at feedback, from po some folks would like to see, you know, maybe selection wheels, something like that. So it's definitely feedback we've been looking into. Uh, thanks for letting us know you'd like to look, have that looked at too. Uh, what game engine is this using? This is our own in-house engine. It's called the Apex engine. Um, you will see it in other games that are developed by Avalanche Studios. Um, so this is all developed in-house by us. 
Hi guys, how are you doing? Hello, BCA Trek. We're doing awesome. Thank you. I see a message there, Average Cool. It's a bit of a long one to answer now, but yes, we're aware of that one. Thank you. Do you guys have a feedback page? Uh, we have an, uh, a forum, which is at uh, forum.generationzero.com. Otherwise, any of our social media channels, you can write there. If you play on PC, write to us on the Steam Community Hub. It's great. Um, we also have a Discord server, but Discord is less good for giving sort of big thought-out posts because, you know, it does tend to go by fast. Uh, but yeah, anywhere. But there's plenty of places you can find us for sure. You can go to generationzero.com and you should see all the links to our channels up in the top right corner of the website. Ooh, one health. That it was close. It. Is the in-house engine derived from other engine technology, like how Apex Legends uses highly modified source engine? Um, nope. It's ground up in-house, to my knowledge. I'm not sure if we lean on other tech that we can perhaps integrate for some specific features, but otherwise, no, it's, uh, it's all developed in-house. Adrico Rodriguez and the tanks start running away. Yeah. Yep. There we go. Body armor vest being asked. You ask that one every stream, says Zhao. Same answer as every other stream, buddy. It's a great idea. We'll see. That other fella go. Did he? Did I scare? Saw so what you did to the friends. Yeah, probably. Can I answer? Yeah, if you want. To. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw Ponce's phones on the table, and his dad was ringing. So we answer him live on stream, friends. <laughs> um, found a couple of floating lanterns and ammo boxes hanging on the wall. How do you want a bug report on those? So if you go to our bug reports forum at forum.generationzero.com, we actually have the sticky thread just for floating objects if you can, uh, so we can get them uh, fixed. Evolved another rival. Mm, have I really? No? Yeah. Alright. Do you guys want to have crafting in the game? Absolutely. Crafting would be awesome. I mean, for us as devs, crafting is great because it's... Uh, it's a way to keep you all occupied for a big <laughs> amount of time. You know, it's um, it would add a lot of activities in one fell swoop. So, crafting, yeah, we'd we'd love crafting for sure. Um, if and when it may happen, we'll of course tell you. But uh, yeah, we wouldn't so we wouldn't be adverse to the idea. Put it that way. Would we really tell them though? No, just surprise them. Yeah, no. just <laughs> one day it will show up. Any plans to continue the story? I mean, a lot of folks do like the story. Um, we'll see. Mm. Oh. It's been said by Avalanche, we're not releasing a modding kit, which is such a shame. Again, it's due to the nature of us having our own in-house engine, and it's not as plug-and-play as it is for someone who's maybe used to working with Unity or Unreal or something. Um, so there, there's a big issue there. In fact, we'd have to develop a lot of development. We'd have to add a lot of development attention to make it happen. So, yeah. My every stream ask is skateboards. That too is out, and you know that I would love those, so... Uh, many people ask for a new game plus. It'd be great to play the game. My awesome gear. Yeah, no, they have not, Richard. But you know, ways of us to keep you engaged in the game is definitely something interesting to us, um, for sure. Whether that's for a new game plus system or other ways and means. I mean, you can of course uh, create a new playthrough via a second character, but of course that doesn't unlock the mission and stuff. So maybe that's something else to think about. Oh, I see, Zogorov, and now I get ya. Uh -uh. Uh, Thomas Tyland asking about continuation to the story. Um, I just answered that just a few seconds ago. Uh, but yes, it would be definitely cool, something for us to look into. Why is there a small house with three bathrooms, no kitchen, no bedroom, just a TV and a couch? Are you sure it wasn't a public bathroom you walked into there? <laughs> um, of course, we, we, as well as using hand-placed assets, we do use some generation as well. 
because obviously a world this size, you'd be hours on end manually placing things, and we're not a huge dev team of thousands of developers that can do that. <laughs> um, so yeah, there are some things that we, we, we kind of take feedback and we fix them as we see them. New collectibles, yeah, something Ace Team. Trading cards or action figures, that'd be awesome, Gung Ho Sarge. And I think if we were to expand on the world or the story in the future, then I would think that new types of collectibles would be something we'd expect to see. Hello, what have I missed? I just joined. You missed uh, 50 minutes of the stream. <laughs> I'm not going to do you with a full rundown, but we've just been asking questions, answering questions about rivals, with the game in general, playing some. Pontus killed a couple of rivals. Now he's uh, going back to have another bite of this apple. Again, you can try and shoot off those rocket pods, might be an idea. Other vehicles in the game? Uh, this bike's Mark Tuller. We didn't want to just throw in cars from the get-go because that's a really great way to make lots of content and exploring the world irrelevant very quickly as you just plow past it in your shiny car. Uh, whether it happens in the future, who knows? Uh, but for now, have bikes, which was a very popular request from the community. He melee you. Greetings from Finland. Same kind of vibes here than in this game. Yeah, yeah. Not so far different. Pontus runs at two tanks with some flares and two smoke grenades. This will end well. He's done well so far. No comment on the average call. I'd rather not encourage that. Thank you. Um, tanks do not react to flares, is that intended? Um, different machines will be more resistant to your distractions, as you would expect. I mean, they're better, bigger, tougher, more suited for combat activities. Um, so yeah, there is intended behavior in some cases. That, uh, aye, aye, aye. <laughs> Oh, I'm so far away from home. You are. There's nothing really close by. Damn it, Leroy. I get you, Thomas. No worries at all there, buddy. <laughs> hmm, do I have anything that blows up in here? I don't. I have a lot of radios, though. Mm -hmm. Field raids are good though because they save you that walk if you do yeah, happen I to get. Yeah, I already have uh, to equipped. <laughs> oh, <laughs> use your tools. <sighs> are experimental weapons only a part of rivals for the future? Oh, you mean do we want to expand on them in the future in terms of things they can drop and what they can do? I mean, it's obviously just a one-week-old feature. This is the first version. Um, who knows? We can expand it from here. I mean, obviously, part of game development is about looking over things you've already added, as well as adding new stuff. So, for sure, I mean, I think we could do a lot of fun things with rivals. Is this chat broke? No, Lady Nibiru, it's not broken. We're just reading through all the different chats. So, unfortunately, again, we cannot guarantee to read everyone's messages. I'm sorry to say. Add snooze for stamina boost. I'd be a big fan of that. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Pontus too. <laughs> I'm not sure how that works for age rating, though, like tobacco products and hmm. stuff. I don't know if we get away with that. We could call it something else. Right now, farming level 1 rival is the most time-efficient way to get experimentals. Can we expect change that later? I mean, of course, we didn't add the feature with it in mind that people would just be hard grinding it for the first week. I mean, we knew it was going to happen with our most engaged and sort of most um, sort of veteran players, let's say. But the average experience for a new player coming to the game would not necessarily be let's power grind rivals from day one. It would be more of an organic experience, how you interact with them things. So we'll, we'll see how things evolve over time. Um, but yeah, for sure, we'll definitely look at balancing things if required. Trials is in the wildest potential of what your lads added so far. Major props. You changed your mind. <laughs> but okay, thank you. Um... I don't know what, Lady Nibiru. Sorry, again, I uh, no need no need to be passive aggressive. I missed your question. I'm sorry. I do try and answer your questions every stream, Lady, because I know you're on Mixer over there. But I did miss your question. Apologies. Um, mm -mm -mm. Add coffee. Um, yeah, well, obviously Swedes love coffee, so that would be a good uh, yeah. boost consumable of some description. You have your little thermos with you. Yeah. Just have a. <laughs> Call it not tobacco, like a <laughs> not a flamethrower, okay? <laughs> How 
How many updates a year do you guys think you can do? That's a really uh, tough question to answer. We could probably do a thousand tiny updates of changing text here and there. Or we could do two very big ones. Um, it, it's a, that's a hard question yeah. to answer. It's like, how long is a piece of string? Um, we covered this a bit in the beginning about how we do update frequency. We've done it very frequently in the beginning because we were really keen to address bugs as fast as we can. Uh, whether we start to slow down now and do bigger updates further apart, we'll see. Um, but yeah, I think um, it's definitely something for us to consider. So we'll see how, how we go about doing things. Hi, great to see you stream again. <sighs> nice to see you, my Tommy. Welcome, welcome. Hello. What's that you ran over? Yeah. I, I kind of <laughs> it's the first I time I've heard that. Did I step on a frog? No. Oh. I sound like water. We have sticky flares, but why not sticky grenades? We, we couldn't add everything. Um, you know, every conceivable idea, but that is a good idea. That is a very good idea. It'd yeah, like a, a Samtex. Particularly for people me, like me that aren't very good at judging my throwing. Just have to hit it and it's done. When the stream's over, time for some Irish coffee and GZ, I think. Zessia has an excellent plan for their evening, clearly. Yeah. Sounds nice. Hmm, so how should I approach this? Dawson on Facebook is saying, Hey guys, loving the game. Rivals add so much more depth and reason to fight the machines. I hope to see new machines in the future. Well, thank you, Dawson. Nice to uh, see you're enjoying it. And yeah, plenty more, plenty more to come from us. <coughs> So our chat window misbehaving again. I do believe it is. Oh no, there we go. Stream is almost over. Yes, it is. We've got one minute left for Pontus to take out this rival. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Challenge accepted. Mm. Or maybe not. As a Norwegian, um, it'd be really nice to see you are in Swedish. Any thoughts on that? Definitely good feedback, for sure. I think that it was the plan for the devs originally. I mean, of course, a lot of our devs are Swedish. It was more a case of, you know, what, what do we have time for in terms of, you know, bang for buck. Um, yeah. Uh, Tenebri, it wasn't really the feedback, it was more the manner, um, <laughs> I will say. Uh, but yeah, I, I understand the passion, just there was, yeah. <laughs> uh, Ponson and Graham, what is one feature that you would like to see in the game yourselves? Oh, you start. I like a farming mini game. <laughs> That's <laughs> not you. Um, Creators. I, I mean... I mentioned crafting being an awesome yeah, idea I'd um, love in general. To see I think it would it would tick so many boxes for me as well because I love that type of thing. Yeah. Um, it would give, as well as looking on a, with my professional hat on, it would give you folks a lot to do. Um, yeah, I think some some kind of crafting behavior. Yeah. I'd also like to see some kind of um, like customization of your safe houses, even if it wasn't gameplay related. Just uh, another thing you can modify and uh, make it look cool. I quite like that. Um, yeah. I would also say crafting for a start, but mm. it, since you already took that, I would love to s a raid, like a, a real multiplayer five-hour raid that would give you something really, really awesome. Mm. That'd be pretty. Because good. I just love that you just spend like four or five hours with your friend, just going over tactics, being really serious, just doing that whole thing. Um, yeah, smaller things, mm. I don't know, maybe 
do something with the inventory, stuff like that. Mm. Yeah. Like maybe backpacks or something you can loot, make your inventory bigger, that would yeah. be neat. There's... You know, if you can choose freely, I would do everything all the time. Will Jeezy be off for Black Friday? Um, oh, you mean in a discount? Um, I cannot say. Uh, we'll have to see about that. Of course, whenever we have sales, we will let you know about it. But Pontus, we're gonna have to leave people on a cliffhanger. Oh no. Oh no. I so in a show though when I get this too. Uh, oh my oh God. wow. He flipped out, yeah. Yeah, he he was off there. Let's uh shiss it and It's uh, not cheesing it, Pontus. <laughs> Stop saying that. <laughs> I just love that word. <laughs> Tactical withdrawal. Um but yeah, we will wrap things up from our side. Thank you all for joining. If you do have more questions, you can keep... Oh, there we go. Oh, nice backflip, though. <laughs> if you do have more questions, of course, always happy to hear them on Facebook, Twitter, Discord, Forum, Steam Community Hub, YouTube comments, wherever you feel you want to place them. We do read them, and we do like to see them. Um, yeah, otherwise, we will see you next Wednesday. Next Wednesday, same time, same place. Thanks for joining. It's been a blast as always. Yes, thanks a lot, guys. And, you know, stay out of trouble. Thank you. Bye-bye.